The Serbo GX is a multifunction unit that can connect to many Victron devices. It can display all the data in your system in a coordinated way. The data shows up on a dedicated display or on a phone or tablet or even remotely over the internet using the free Victron VRM remote access software. The Serbo comes with a bag of parts. People often open the bag, take the power cable and promptly lose the rest of the parts. My advice to you before you do anything else is to plug all the parts into the servo whether you plan on using them or not. That way they won't get lost. I'm going to plug in all the parts and explain them as I go. The first connection is the power connection and it comes pre-wired with its cable and fuse. The servo can be powered with anything from 8 to 70 volts DC. Next we have three 8 pin plugs. Each are for four pairs of wires. The first plug is for tank senders. This is for four two-wire connections to resistive tank senders. These are the kind of senders that are built into many tanks. A float goes up and down in the tank and changes the resistance which is then translated into a readout of tank level. The next plug is for temperature sensors. These use the Victron wired sensor. Each sensor has two wires so you can connect four sensors in total. They can be used for all kinds of applications including to trigger fans or heaters based on a trigger value you set in the software. The next 8-pin plug is for digital inputs. These are basically on-off sensors that can be used to sense a door alarm, fire alarm, smoke detector or bilge. Next we have two 3-pin plugs for relays. These can be used to trigger external items. For example you can use them to turn on a fan or heater or you can set them up on an automatic generator star. It's all set up in the program. Turning over to the other side you'll see there are seven identical RJ45 sockets. This is where all the confusion comes in because although these sockets can all accommodate the same kind of plug, their functions are completely different and they're not interchangeable. If you make a connection to the wrong port it won't work. The first one is by itself and is for an internet connection. If you have a router with a hardware connection, this is where it would go. The first pair go to VE bus devices like the MultiPlus or Quattro inverter chargers. The next pair are for VE CAN devices. This is where you can park the two blue end terminators that came in your bag of parts if you're not using them. VE CAN networks can daisy chain from one device to the next up to 20 devices and then at each end of the network you put the end terminators. Victron devices that use VECAN include the Lynx BMS, Lynx Smart Shunt, the bigger MPPT charge controllers, and some battery chargers. The last pair of RJ45 ports are BMS CAN ports used for connecting non Victron managed batteries. Next, we have three VE Direct ports. These are typically used to connect smaller Victron devices like the BMV or Smart Shunt battery monitors or the smaller MPPT charge controllers. There were only three ports, but you can connect more than three devices if you use the VE Direct to USB interface. More about that in a moment. Next we have the HDMI port used for the Touch 50 or Touch 70 display, and beside that it's dedicated USB port. This port provides power to the display and can't be used for anything else. That leaves two USB ports that are available for other things. If you want to connect more than two USB devices, you can. You just have to use a USB hub. If you have more than three VE Direct devices and need to use a VE Direct to USB adapter, this is where it would connect. Other uses for these ports include range extenders for the built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and the GX Tank 140 which is a device that allows you to use different types of tank centers. As well as the physical connections I've shown you, the Serbo can connect to some Bluetooth devices. Note, however, Victron Bluetooth devices, like the Smart Shunt for instance, do need a physical connection. The servo can connect wirelessly to Ruby tags. These are wireless Bluetooth temperature, humidity, pressure, and motion sensors that are inexpensive and can be used to report the temperature in your fridge or in your engine compartment or bilge. Because they are wireless, installation is quick and easy, but unless the sensors are right beside the servo, you will probably need to get a USB Bluetooth range extender like this one. So let's end with a review of all the connections and sum up by saying that the Serbo is a truly versatile device that gathers multiple sets of data and displays it all in a coordinated fashion both locally and remotely.